This is the Farm Bureau Insurance 6 Sports Desk. After the first four games were in Dayton the last two nights, the NCAA tournament really kicks into high gear tomorrow with 16 games on the schedule. The first game of the day features Michigan State against Mississippi State in Charlotte, North Carolina at 12:15. Our Ian Kress is in Charlotte to cover the Spartans tournament run and has more on how MSU is hoping to rectify a challenging regular season with tournament success. Well, this season has not gone according to plan for the Michigan State men's basketball team who entered the season ranked number four in the preseason AP poll. They know if they win the weekend, it'll do a lot to change the way this season is viewed. Now, Michigan State has lost 14 games this season, and 10 of those losses have been to teams in the field of the NCAA tournament, and they're hoping those losses, which have all been close, are valuable in March. Every loss we've had has been like a lesson for us. Uh, you know, we had a lot of lessons this year, so uh, most of those games, you know, we were in, uh, had a chance to win, you know, didn't finish, so just learning from that, uh, making sure we don't make the same mistakes. I am optimistic because we played so many of these top teams and maybe haven't won enough of them, but we've been right there in every one of them. Now one player the Spartans will not have against the Bulldogs on Thursday is freshman guard Jeremy Fierce Jr. who has not played since late December when he was shot in the leg back in his hometown of Joliet, Illinois. On Wednesday we actually had our first chance to talk with Jeremy since the incident and he shared with us a positive mindset he has used to help him on this road to recovery. There's been some ups and downs but just throughout you know the whole thing just making sure that I'm staying focused and you know the main goal is to get back and be 100% and get ready for next year. He's always an outgoing person. He likes to talk, likes to be around people, so I'm always around him. I mean, it's definitely fun to have him as a roommate. I mean, he gives me a good advice, too. He, tell, he keeps me positive even when I'm feeling kind of down sometimes. It's been a uh, different, uh, different look for me, but overall, you know, this has helped me become a better person, too. Now our coverage of Michigan State will continue all throughout the day Thursday as the Spartans will be taking on the Bulldogs at 12:15 on Thursday, a game you can catch on WLNS. For now, reporting inside the Spectrum Center, Ian Cress, Six Sports.